vlogged in ages. Actually, I vlogged like all of last week, but it was on my phone and I basically just only vlogged myself walking over Albert Bridge saying I'm gonna go meet Nikki. So I thought, I thought that it wasn't really worth posting. And I also, yeah, I was vlogging on my phone because I think it's better quality than my camera but then it was really hard to upload it to my laptop for some reason, so I just kind of gave up. But anyway, this is the first of the moving content. So I am moving to London. I'm moving out of my parents' house. My mum made a sad face. Um, because I'm a grown up now and I want to live in London. I don't want to live in Sussex, no offense Sussex, but it's hard to get content and none of my friends live here. So I'm very excited to move back to London where I'm originally from. And so today my mum and I are going to Ikea. I've already done a few bits of shopping, um, but we're gonna get like, I need glasses, I need a desk chair, what else do I need? I have a list. Um, so yeah, I'm moving in with Sadie, who you will have met before if you've watched a few of my vlogs. Um, she's one of my best friends from uni. I've already lived with her at uni, so I know that she is an incredible housemate. Um, hopefully she makes me eat a bit healthier. But she's very tidy. She's very nice, obviously. She's one of my best friends. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to live with her again. And she's gonna be the two of us in our little flat. My room is the size of a shoebox, but like a kid's shoebox, like a for like junior ages like five to seven shoebox. Um, but maybe that will encourage me to be tidy and I'm gonna make it super cute and cozy um, and we're both gonna be working from home so Sadie needs to be up at a certain time and on calls whereas I don't so if she was working in the living room I wouldn't be able to like do my thing so she's gonna have a desk in her room hence why she's having the bigger room and I'll have a desk in like the main space um, because I don't need to be like on zoom very much of the time and also i had a ginormous room at uni because i got first pick oh it's getting dark because we're going to ikea car park yeah i had the biggest room at uni so it's only fair that she gets the bigger room at this time um but yeah we're just arriving at ikea and obviously ikea is one of the happiest places on earth i think it's happier than disneyland but i just love ikea so much oh so we're going to take our time walking around all the sh a speed bump walking around all the showrooms and looking at the fake bathrooms and stuff because I just find that so fun um so yeah I'll show you any gems that we find and this is the first moving content I'll definitely do like ooh, a flat tour and like take you along for the decorating process we want to make it super cute and like homely and yeah so Let's go to Ikea. I'm literally so fucking excited. I love it here. I'm okay. so excited. Let's do this. Bring it on. <laughs> got pink towels yesterday and we thought these might be nicer, but I don't like a multiple ridge. I like one thick stripe on my towels. Call me picky. <gasps> Look at pink area. Look at this. I love going into all the little pretend things. What's this? It's made of pine. I think that's a shelf. Wow. I wonder if Sadie will like this dinosaur as some home decor. What's over here? Oh, this is exactly what I'm gonna have in my room. I already have it though. I have this storage rack, this like clothing rail, which is super cool. And I also have this, and then I'm gonna, because my room's so tiny, I'm not gonna have a wardrobe. I'm just gonna have that clothing rail, and then that thing hanging off, literally like they've done there, um, as my little wardrobe and shelves. I just love these little fake rooms so much. There's just something about them. Like, what a lovely home. Someone's doing their knitting. They've really set it all up beautifully, haven't they? It's quite a nice rattan. Is that rattan? They're just kind of woven. Like, they've even got fake windows that you can put your hand through. I was hungry when we got here, so I decided to stop at the little canteen for some food. It's kind of nice. Some people, 
like are obsessed with the IKEA meatballs, aren't they? It's like a massive thing. They like come to IKEA and like the best bit is getting the meatballs. But I can't think of anything worse. They also have plant meatballs at the moment, which I would have got, but they were just like with salad, and I would want it to be like spaghetti and meatballs. Mm. So I just got. We managed it. Please, please do you mind? Because I can't my nails. It's a can of water that's confusing. So I've got myself a deliciously appetising tomato and mozzarella salad, and also a donut. And I also got some sparkling water in a can because I'm a crazy person. Toto has made me like sparkling water, like some kind of sociopath. But I just felt like it. I feel weird for liking sparkling water every every time. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna go to like the bit where you actually get the stuff, not just the bit where you look. So we're in the lift. Yeah, this is where we want to be. So basically, got a few bits. We've got shower curtain, wine glasses. I got some more curtains for my room, some shelves. And there are these glasses that I really want that I had at uni. They're my favorite glasses and they all broke. And so I'm coming to get some more and Sadie loved them as well. So it's very exciting. It's kind of the most important reason we're here, but they were completely sold out in the section like they said they were in stock but there just weren't any so then i was browsing for ages and i found one that was in the wrong place so then what i did was i took the sample one and i peeled the sticker off it and now we've got two but then i remembered that when we were walking around the showroom i saw some like sample display ones so now we've come back up to the showroom area and I'm gonna fucking find the glasses that were meant to be just on display and I'm gonna take them and peel off the sample sticker and then they've still got the barcode on the somebody from Ikea doesn't work. Yeah, and what are they gonna do? Sue me? I'm still gonna buy them. I'm just gonna buy the sample ones. So we need to go to the kitchen section where they'll all be on display. Well, we're going round the wrong... We need six because there's only two of us, but I feel like you want four. And then I'm getting six like bowls and wine glasses and glasses because we're, that we're a group of six girls. So when everyone's round, they all need their own glass. So we need to go to the kitchen section. Also, I'm drinking my sparkling water. This is a can that you can close back up and open, close back up and open back up. So that's why I'm still drinking it. I'm gonna get my fucking paws on these glasses right now. <laughs> Go, bitches. That's three. We only need one more. I snaffle the mummy. <laughs> so we just found three, but they were in the bedroom section. So now that we're in the kitchen section, I'm sure they should be everywhere. Look how cute this is. I love how they do this. Bed set up. Like they've done a whole studio apartment, even with a front door. <laughs> It's a whole mission and they've got the wardrobe. Now this is what I'm wearing by the way, it's not that exciting. I'm just wearing my pink jeans that I wear all the time. My new balances and this um, brown jumper from SLA, the label. Molly, there's no time to outfit check. We need to be looking for the fucking glasses. They actually put stuff in these cupboards. Oh no, it doesn't open. Where are they? I will find you. Okay. Still need to find one more. We've gone around like all the showrooms. There's still a few more, but we're back at the beginning. And my mum and I look crazy because we're looking inside like every cabinet in every fake kitchen because they have stuff in them. And some of them have like glasses in them. So we need to find the one more. Okay, here's another kitchen I haven't seen yet. Look, they've got so many glasses. Why haven't they got the ones I want? Those ones look so similar, but they're not the same. That looks so similar, but it's different. It's taller. Oh. I could just get those ones instead because they are really similar, but I just they don't they don't spark the same joy inside me. And I've come this far now. Oh, 
I'm gonna cry. <laughs> So we didn't find the final glass. We just got the five. Oh. So these are the little storage crates that I wanted. Someone told me that you could find them in Primark Home when I posted some Amazon ones on my story. Do you want these dark pink ones or the peachy ones? On camera these look nicer, but in real life I think these are a bit lilac-y and these are a bit more like peachy. Has those all the colours they have? Okay, so I am moving tomorrow and Sadie has COVID. So we've decided that I'm still gonna move tomorrow as planned because like we were meant to be meeting the landlords and I'm just ready to go. Well, I'm actually not ready. I have hardly packed, but you know, I'm mentally ready. And she's gonna move in next weekend and Toto is gonna babysit me a few nights. I'm also going to football in Liverpool on one of the nights so it won't be too bad but such a shame because we were all excited to move in together and stuff but I can make it into a palace for when she arrives um, and she'll be with me soon but I thought because I have loads of packing to do that I would do a little home decor haul because I have loads of home decor and then as I, hmm, that's not gonna work, as I sort it, as I go through it and like show you what I've got, I can sort it into like stuff. I haven't got any boxes, my dad's gonna bring, that's not gonna work, my dad's gonna bring boxes home from his work tonight. Uh, what's a good thing that I can prop things up on? So, let's go through what I've got. I'm just gonna pick up random things. A lemon squeezer. Obviously need a lemon squeezer. Right, I'll make a kitchen pile over here. Then I've got some towels for us. Because we are fake tan queens and all our towels are permanently orange, if we get white ones, we thought we'd go for beige instead. But then we thought we might get mixed up between whose towel was whose. So I've got one pair of beige ones and one pair of pink ones, which are somewhere. I'll make a bathroom pile there. Oh, here are the pink towels. Pink towels. So I got, I'll say where everything's from as well. So I got the lemon squeezer from John Lewis, the, um, beige towels from John Lewis and then these pink towels are from the range. I've been going to all the shops around town. So yeah, there are two pink ones, two beige ones because we're going for like neutral vibes, so that'll be cute. Oh, and I also got um, those, the, the hand towels and I also got normal towels. So yeah, I got two beige towels from John Lewis, two pink towels and two pink hand towels from the range. And then also got some tea towels, a um, little pink floral one, pink one with some pom-poms on and some, a white one with like some pink stripes on. Those were from the range as well. Oh no, that's going in the kitchen pile. Oh, mm, that kind of looks a bit dirty over there. I'll put the kitchen pile a bit further back. Okay, that bag can go away. Then this is from Home Sense some just some tupperwares with pink lids you're going to see a lot of pink here i mean obviously and um, just thought that they would be useful for leftovers or packed lunches oh we really wanted gold cutlery and i looked at a few and they can look a bit cheap if you get like the really shiny ones so i found these on amazon i'll link them in my amazon storefront i'll link them below so they come with a little polishing cloth and set of 16, so we've got four, four each or six each, one, two. I mean, we've got six each of everything. Oh, that's good. Um, so these, I'll try and get everything out. Got forks, spoons, knives, and teaspoons. I can't get that out of the thing. But you can kind of see there. It's like brushed rather than really shiny. And then the spoons are like those circular ones and circular teaspoons. And then the knives are like really thin at the end, which might be a bit annoying, we'll see. 
but they're kind of, oh, this one's out. You see? Might be a bit annoying, but it's kind of sleek, you know, kind of classy or not. So there's our gold cutlery. You can go in the kitchen pile. Then went to Ikea yesterday, as you saw with the whole fucking finding the glass saga, which never happened. So I just got a baking sheet, you know, for popping your salmon into the oven on and then or making cookies or whatever and then like a big roasting tin and a little roasting tin just kind of boring necessities that you want to have then I got a loofah from Dunelm because it was just there and it was pound fifty, so I thought why not pink can opener from Dunelm I've also ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon, some is arriving here and some wasn't gonna arrive in time, so I ordered it straight to the flat, but I got a pink colander and a whole set of pink utensils from Amazon. I'll link those as well. Um, then, what's over here? Pink shower curtain. Is that a shower? Oh no, these are pink oven gloves. Also from Amazon. Cute, I haven't seen these yet. My mum must have put those in the pile. Cute. They were like eight pounds, seven pounds, or something. So perfect. And that can go in the bin. Make a bin bag. And then found this little cushion in Dunelm because we need some little cushions for the sofa. We also need a throw for the sofa, but haven't found one yet. Right, that is a living room pile. I'll make this like the other bag into a living room. Actually, it would probably make more sense to do everything into bags. No, because I'm going to have boxes. Just leave that in there. Um, and then let's go through this bag. So we've got a little heart-shaped chopping board. This isn't like a need. My mum and I were just going through Dunelm and places and just kept adding things because they were cute. So hot shaped chopping board. Then I won't add, I won't undo these because they're all wrapped up. But these actually I will. These are like heart shaped dishes that also again are not a need, they're a want. I'll just do the little one, but there's a big one as well. And they stack together, so that would be cute for like crisps or dips or olives when people come over. And just or they could be like a fruit bowl, a display piece. Then another tea towel from John Lewis that I just, or was it? No, this is Dunelm as well, um, which is just kind of cute, isn't it? It's like a brightly, it's very bright actually. And it has little things on it. It says, you're great on a cereal box. And, but first coffee and squeeze the day. And you got this and fresh as a daisy. Cute, gotta have a tea towel. Makes me sad when pretty tea towels go gross as you use them. Then I got for bedding. I have loads of bedding, but I wanted new bedding because um, it's all fake tanny and it's just nice to have new. So this is from Dunelm as well, and it's like a washed cotton. So rather than it being shiny, it's kind of like linen-y. You can't see that, but I just think that that will be kind of nice. I've seen that, I think it's kind of trendy, they're like kind of washed cotton stuff. And then I also got a pair of pillowcases, but I forgot to get a new sheet and I would really like a new sheet. And um, Oh yeah, and I, was also, I also want another set of bedding. I really want some like pink gingham bedding. I think that's really cute and I love gingham, um, but I haven't been able to find one. So I might just take another pink set that I have. Um, so I have like one classy one the white and then one fun one the pink right i'm gonna make this ikea bag into a my bedroom bag and we don't need that then so I went to primark because that was near ikea and i got these crates i got two big ones and two small ones and these are going to go in the bathroom so you can they fold up and then you do them like this. And they're kind of they're kind of on trend as well. I think I've seen Emma Leger has them and some it girls have them. So these are gonna go in the bathroom because we've not got a lot of storage in the bathroom. So these are gonna go under the sink with like oh, I'm gonna recollapse really that with like 
some skincare bits, some cotton pads, some face wash, things like that that you want in the bathroom, bathroom pile. And then these are little mini ones and I thought we could put these on the shelf in the shower. There's like a window in the shower that's obviously like frosted but there's like a bit of a shelf in front of it. So we can have one each and then have one for my shampoo, conditioner. How do I unstack this? My shampoo and conditioner and shower gel and stuff and then Sadie's one as well just to keep it tidy. And then I also got from Primark these just little pink twizzly candles because I think these are so cute and I've seen them everywhere and they were £1.50 so I was like, that's a steal. Um, I'll put those over there. And then I got also in Primark, I love the like body shaped ceramic things. And I saw this one, it's tiny, I've been looking at much bigger ones but this was £2.50 in Primark home and it's just a little body. And you could put like a single flower in there, or you could put a candle, or you could just leave it by itself. I'll make this into a living room thing. So it's like a living room, dining room, big space. Hybrid situation. And I can go there. Then what have we got over here? An empty box. Oh no. It's got a measuring jug in it. It's kind of tinted pink as well. Kitchen pile. Right, that can be dealt with. Oh, let's open this together. This is a bath mat, and I had one like this in my first year at uni, but I kind of made it go disgusting, so hopefully we'll take better care of this one. You might have seen it. So they're on Urban Outfitters, and they say, get naked. And I had a black and white one in my first year at uni, but now they have a pink one. <gasps> How cute is this? Get naked, because you're going to get naked when you get in the shower. That is so cute. Let's see if it's a good colour with the towels. I was kind of worried about that. It doesn't have to be the same, they just have to go. Definitely, that looks nice together. Okay. Whew. Why did I just do that? That was very weird. Phew. Okay, we don't actually have that much stuff. Oh yeah, over here. Pink shower curtain, um, because the shower curtain, when we looked around, was like blue and orange stripes, not the vibe, so we went for, obviously, a pink one. Got some pink napkins. We didn't really need these, but I was walking around like here and thought, actually, that's pretty good, rather than using, like, kitchen roll as napkins. Then I got some of these, like, cotton, see-through-ish curtains. Oh, did I not get... I didn't get hoopy things to hang them up with. But yeah, these are like those basically see-through like drapey curtains. I just think they're really nice and they add some texture to the space. So these are for in my room. And there's a blue blind in my room, so I'm going to need to get a pink blind. But I couldn't do that because I hadn't measured it. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. And I don't know how I'm going to put them up because there isn't a curtain pole. So I think I'm going to get command strips, you know, the sticky things that don't ruin your wall and then get like some kind of hook and just like a pole across just do a makeshift version rather than like installing a curtain thingy oh then over here we just have some little ikea storage solutions i have like a big shelf thing oh that i was sh i showed it yesterday in ikea the clothing rack with the like shelves dangling off it and i have that stuff already but i wanted some little drawers for inside the bottom bits because the bottom bits are smaller and then these I can put like my underwear and socks and stuff in there might not put, but you know I can put things in there that's going in my room as well and then the glasses that you saw the whole panic about yesterday here they are display only we've only got five of them but I think Sadie might go to Ikea next weekend, in which case she can get another one and she probably could have got all six to begin with, but I just had to get them. And they got some wine glasses. I just got white wine glasses because A, we don't really drink red wine, and B, we're not classy enough to have two different types of red wine and white wine glasses. So if anyone wants to drink wine that's red, they can just do it from the white wine glasses. 
Then we've got, oh, I got these on floating shelves for my room because it's so tiny. I don't have any storage, so I got two of these and they're meant to be for pictures, but I'm going to put my bags on them because um, my bags are all, I wear loads of like mini bags. I won't put like my big Prada handbag on there because it would be too heavy, but I'll like command hook. What way around does it go? It goes like that. But I might do it like that instead. We'll see what looks better. Oh no, I'll do it like that. So I'll put command hooks all over the back, command strips even, and then hook it to the wall and then put my little handbags across like a little floating shelf. So hopefully if I cover it in command strips, it won't fall down. They are pretty good. So then, come over here please. Maybe drop those. We've got some bowls so i got a whole i should probably show that first i got a whole like dinner set that has four of everything so it has four dinner plates four like cereal bowls and four side plates um i got that in sainsbury's of all places because they have like a habitat home section and I just had a feeling I was going to find some in Sainsbury's because in Dunelm and Ikea and HomeSense, all the plates I looked at had a slightly, they were either slightly grey or slightly cream, I guess because they're not that high quality than like proper fancy china. And then in John Lewis, they were all so expensive. So that was like £35 which isn't that bad. And then Sadie and I at uni really liked having like dishes like this for pasta. Although Sadie actually would eat everything out of this. But this is a slightly different one to eat the one we had. I think it's a bit deeper and a bit smaller. Um, but I said I'd get some of these. And then I thought I'll get six because like I was saying yesterday, I think we're in a kind of girl group of six girls. So when they all come round, ooh, we need to have a matching set of crockery. So we won't have matching plates and side plates, but we'll just have to feed them out of these. And same with why well, we've got six wine glasses and five glasses, but that should be six. So that's the reason I wanted six glasses. And that's kind of all that I've got here. I have some other stuff scattered around. I did a big decennio order just now, um, very kindly gifted and those will be on my instagram obviously when they arrive oh i got a rug i got a rug so i'm not gonna undo this right now i can show you tomorrow but we wanted a rug all the rugs i looked at were like a hundred pounds even for like the shitty ones didn't realize how expensive rugs are um and i found this in dunelm again and you can kind of see it's just like cream fluffy it's like not high quality it's you can see the like ridging on the side but it was 50 pounds so that's 25 pounds each and i think a rug will just make the space like cozier and nicer and then we don't have to worry so much about like spilling stuff on the carpet um all the oats sadie's the queen of breaking glasses and subsequently spilling drinks so we probably will have more broken glasses, so fewer glasses and a dirty carpet, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so that, that's my little home decor haul. I'll still be getting more stuff, so I'll update you. And now, it's 10 to two, I'm moving tomorrow, so I should probably pack my clothes and stuff. have a lot of stuff i also need to go up to the shed in the field because that's where my little desk is from uni and other stuff like that <sighs> wish me luck it is moving day i well we are already running about 40 minutes behind the schedule but my dad's van he brought his van home from his business and it is all full Wow, we've got plates, boxes, clothes, my plant, bags, my rug, that is a whole box, that's like a box that you get a pair of boots in, like knee high boots and that has got, is full of skincare and hair care and that's not even all of it. Um, 
so yeah i started packing like yesterday afternoon which was really stupid in hindsight but yeah we're off we're leaving soon my dad's in the shower my mum's eating something and then we'll be hitting the road it's going to be like two hours um and yeah, I don't know how much of the actual moving in process I'll like film because obviously it's going to be a bit hectic, like unpacking everything. And my parents will probably get really annoyed at me if I'm just standing around like filming them carrying boxes. Um, but I'll definitely have some chats tonight and show you some stuff. I don't know, I, some people do like an empty house tour when they move. And I'd kind of like to do that, but I also can't really be bothered. So I think I'll just do like a house tour when it's all perfect I'm here I can't believe it um so my parents left like half an hour ago um it took so long to move everything in um but I'm finally here and like I said earlier Sadie has COVID so she is gonna move in next weekend so it's just me this week um but Toto's gonna come look after me a few nights which is nice but yeah tonight it's literally just me so I didn't do like an empty house flat tour but I will do a tour when it's like all ready to go so it's still looking a bit hectic right now so I don't, won't do one but I will show you a few little so my mum got me some flowers well us some flowers which are super cute and then This is all the skincare and hair care that I need to deal with and this is all my makeup and just more stuff going on there. Literally already got a package obviously. So yeah it's super cute. I've got the um just a lamp on now which is why it looks kind of dark because the lighting is very bright which is really nice in the day but you know I want to be cozy right now also haven't got any internet until Monday this is so weird I feel like I'm living alone well actually no I don't I know that Sadie lives here so it kind of feels like she's here but she's just not here right now so I'm living alone for a week which is crazy I've never done that before um and then yeah, I thought I'd be really nervous and scared, but I'm actually okay. And just of the like living by myself for a week bit, but I'm actually fine. The building's very like safe and everything, so it's nice. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get a delivery because my Ocado shop isn't arriving until tomorrow morning. And maybe I'll watch a film and I need to unpack all my skincare and stuff. So that is what's on the agenda for tonight.